Knowledge in here at Landry Seafood. Good stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Knowledge Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, feast with me and some New Orleans seafood as we enjoy grilled mahi mahi, blackened shrimp, and crab cake at Landry Seafood House for a restaurant review video. Landry Seafood House is located in New Orleans on Lake Pontchartrain at 8000 Lakeshore Drive, which is about 16 minutes and 8 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This location of Landry's is located in a popular spot situated right on the lakefront where you get some amazing views to go along with your traditional New Orleans seafood. Landry Seafood House opened its first location in Lafayette, Louisiana in 1947 and since then has expanded to 14 locations with seven in Texas, two in Missouri, one in South Carolina, one in Florida, and three in Louisiana with two in the New Orleans area including here at the lakefront and one in the French Quarter. Landry's was acquired by a major international restaurant owner, Tillman J. Furtada, based in Houston, Texas, who was a partner in the first Landry's in Texas in 1980. Mr. Furtada's amazing business success story in the restaurant industry is certainly worthy of accolades and deserves a close study by other entrepreneurs and restaurant owners. So you can see that we have an access to an elevator right here on the ground floor, and we also have a stairway to go up to the main restaurant area. And you can see that we're right here on the water with lots of the piling piers going right into the lakefront here. If you walk right in front, you can see the New Orleans Southern Yacht Club right there, which is the second oldest yacht club in America, and it's a really cool place. Then as we look back, we can see plenty of other spots we visited in the past with the Blue Crab Felixes and the Fuel Dock back there. But let's go ahead and head up into the restaurant. So we're going to take the stairs up as it's just a little bit of a more entertaining view and a little more fun to go up the stairs. So you get a really beautiful view right here and looking out over Lake Pontchartrain and the rest of the lake front's a very pleasant thing to do on a nice day like today and this is a huge restaurant here. So let's say la bon temps and let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So among my group of friends, this really isn't a place we ever come to because it is more of a big chain and we tend to go to more local spots. But this is a definite huge spot that is also really beautiful inside. So it certainly is worthy a visit just for the wonderful, beautiful interior and the fantastic views available on the outside. So you certainly can pass a good time in here and it's always a good time to go head outside on their patio. Whoa, looky here. So check this area out. They have so much great outdoor seating and look at the beautiful view we get here as we can just look around and see so much amazing stuff. And you can always appreciate the beauty of Lake Pontchartrain right here. It's not quite the Gulf of Mexico, but it's uh, better than no water at all. Then we have the historic New Canal Lighthouse right there, which was first established in 1838. That's, of course, not the original structure. And you can see we have plenty of other outdoor seating all around this area and plenty of fantastic views all around this wonderful wraparound patio. Now we're back inside and there's the bar right there. And I think I'm going to be sitting at the bar today. So let's go around here and get a nice little seat at the bar and Boozy up and check out things. So you just have to appreciate all the beautiful woodwork in here though. All right, here's my spot and it looks like a comfortable one. Now let's check out the menu. So we start out with share bowls with fried calamari, shrimp cocktail, New Orleans crawfish bread, crab spinach and artichoke dip, fried zucchini, oysters on the half shell, oysters Rockefeller, crab cake, oysters bar trash, stuffed jalapenos, Garden and Kettle with Landry's Gumbo, Chicken and Sausage Gumbo, Iceberg Wedge Salad, Caesar Salad, Landry's House Salad, and we have Sandwiches with Po' Boys, Shrimp or Fish or Oyster, Landry's Gold Burger, Crab Cake Sandwich, then we have Mocktails with Flavored Palmer, Berry Fogito, Strawberry Basil Lemonade, Sparkling Cucumber. Then we have Chef Recommends with Surf and Turf and Stuffed Salmon. Cow specialties with IPA fish and chips, southern fried fish, fresh catch poncha train, black and red fish etouffee, stuffed flounder, crawfish etouffee, cedar plank salmon, 
Today's catch, broiled or pan seared, serve with seasonal sides, add lemon pepper blackening, add a house salad, mahi mahi, redfish, Chilean sea bass, tilapia, Atlantic salmon, over the top. Compliment today's catch with a topping. Crescent City, blackened shrimp, crab, crawfish, lemon butter, Melissa, sauteed shrimp, scallops, crab, mushrooms, Pontchartrain, crab, mushrooms, wine, cream sauce. Then we have shellfish, add a house salad with snow crab, fried shrimp, lobster tail. Then we have platters and pastas with broiled seafood platter, fried seafood platter, coastal seafood pasta, Landry's fettuccine. Then we have steak and poultry with top sirloin, filet mignon, ribeye, chicken mushrooms, sides, seasonal vegetables, dirty rice, shrimp skewer, lobster tail, mashed potatoes, pimento cheese grits. Then we have lunch box with a starter, uh, fried zucchini, Landry's house salad, battered onion rings with jalapenos, seafood gumbo. Our main course of black and mahi sandwich, fried shrimp, crawfish etouffee, shrimp scampi, grilled salmon, fried fish and shrimp, and red beans and rice platter. Then we have quite an extensive wine menu and a good selection of beers. So I decided to go with a broiled seafood platter with mahi mahi pancha train, crab cake, and blackened shrimp. Let's dig in. All right, I'm gonna start with a blackened shrimp. Mmm, let's see. Ooh, I gotta say, these are uh, definitely very well uh, overcooked shrimp, I would say. So these are uh, not the normal kind of blackened shrimp I'm used to. They're a little uh, chewy and rubbery. Now let's try some of this mahi. Ooh, this looks tasty. And all right, the mahi-mahi is very nicely cooked. It is a delicious and well-prepared mahi-mahi, so I'm quite happy with that. So the mahi-mahi definitely is a winner on this platter. Now let's try this crab cake. Ooh, it looks like it's a lot of crab meat and not a lot of stuffing. So let's see what the taste test is. Mmm, okay. So I do like the flavors here and they do have a nice little sauce on here. I didn't put a whole lot of sauce, just a little dab. I probably could have said a little more of the sauce. <laughs> All right, a big bite of the crab cake. Okay, yes indeed. I do enjoy this crab cake. So let's see, it's going down very fast. I think I could have about three or four of these, no problem. So uh, this is definitely an item I would recommend along with Mahi Mahi. Blackened shrimp needs some work, I would say. Uh, lots more butter and less cooking time. They should not be hard, crunchy, and crispy on the outside and a whole lot of the inside. I think they definitely could uh, very fairly be said to be very overcooked uh, with these shrimp so far. Okay, this mahi's got lots of juicy, delicious flavor, and I'm very happy with the fish. You know, mahi has always generally been cooked pretty darn good most places I've had it. So it seems to be a easier fish to cook all around for most of the restaurants I've been to. Now we have some uh, nice bell peppers on the side here. Some nice little vegetable medley with some squash and some peppers. Mmm, it's got a good flavor. It's a decent little veggie side dish. Of course, uh, nothing's as good as a little seafood though. All right, let's try another one of these blackened shrimp, see if this one's improved. Oh, nope, this one's still kind of rubbery and crunchy. Not, not exactly where I want it to be. Let's try another one. Okay, same situation with that one. Ooh, that one was extra burned, so I'm gonna chase the flavor down with a little less vegetable here. Squash is a good equalizer along with bell pepper to kind of help uh, clean my palate again. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, get down to business now and get some more of this delicious little mahi. Ooh, this is a beautiful piece here. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that makes my mouth happy. And uh, mm, let's see, a little more happiness with some mushroom and mahi together. That's quite a good combo. And ooh, everything is definitely going down very easily. This is quite a nice size filet of mahi mahi. And it's going down way too easy. I'm gonna be a little sad when I eat all my mahi mahi. It's such a delicious gulf fish. Oh my goodness, it's just uh, very flavorful, very well done here with the fish. And uh, I'm kind of missing that crab cake too. It's just like, hmm, get to the last bite here. Okay, we've still got one last burned slash blackened shrimp here. Okay, I saved the best blackened shrimp for last. This one looks like it might be good. And yes, this one actually does not taste rubbery and burned. So just like I've destroyed the seafood platter, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this plate of food. And while you're down there, would you kindly check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. The bill arrived and the total is $40.31 before tips. 
So thanks so much to everybody at Landry Seafood House, and thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. And would you kindly just take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.